One of the main differences between men and women is the fact that women bear children. And if we imagine the changes that take place in a woman's body, and particularly in her blood vessels, as her uterus changes from a pear-sized organ to one that can contain uh, an eight or nine pound baby, uh, that, uh, really, that shows the, the real difference in the vasculature or the blood vessel uh, growing potential that women have that men don't demonstrate. And what we have really come to realize is that a pregnancy is a woman's first cardiovascular stress test. And if she fails it, and I use fail sort of in quotation marks, but if she fails that test by either developing diabetes or high blood pressure or preeclampsia or eclampsia, uh, which complicates her pregnancy, that means that her blood vessels or something about her risk factors um, will predict that she will be at higher risk for heart disease in the future. Now, one of the challenges is trying to understand, is this because the preeclampsia or the pregnancy itself caused a risk factor um, that then the woman carries on later in life, or is it that it really is a stress test and that pregnancy identifies very early in life the woman who we should be watching much more closely over her lifespan for early signs of cardiovascular disease, or perhaps deciding that we'll treat her more aggressively in terms of risk reduction. For instance, being more aggressive about treating her blood pressure. Uh, the other thing we, we have found is that that woman who has a complicated pregnancy, her offspring, so the son or daughter who is born from that pregnancy, also has an increased risk of developing diabetes, if she had diabetes during the pregnancy, of developing uh, heart disease later in life. So there's a huge amount of very keen interest on tr trying to better understand this relationship between pregnancy complications and later heart disease in life, but even more on how can we predict and prevent that pregnancy complication in the first place? Because if we could do that, we might actually uh, favorably impact uh, the children's cardiovascular risk.